Hey, how's it going guys? Rich again. Welcome to my channel, Rich Laffrey Racing. Please subscribe, like it, dislike it, <laughs> whatever you feel, froggy leap. Um, just a different kind of video today as far as I got an old bike I'm restoring, not restoring, but getting ready to sell. It's a 2018 with like over 350 hours on the thing, a two-stroker. Um, and you know, like, you spend so much time riding in grind, dirt, off-road stuff that, you know, the, the motors sometimes get discolored. So something that I got from my older brother, um, I seen my nephew do it to his bike, getting a bike ready to sell, was baking soda blast. So simply went to BJ's, got a bag of uh, baking soda, 13 pound bag, it was like, I don't know, six, six dollars and change or something. I got two of these. Um, <clears throat> and you're gonna see later on in this video here, you know, I'm gonna give you a before and an after, a little bit of feedback. And all it is, is a basic, uh, I'll give you a link in, uh, through Amazon. I found these, it's for like 16 bucks. It's basically a sandblaster is all it is, but you're using baking soda. So it's got a siphon tube, Put the siphon tube down in baking soda. We just got it in a little jar here, just filled with baking soda, plastic jar, airline, and make sure everything is airtight. You don't want, you know, any of this stuff going into your motor, obviously. So um, you gotta be careful of that, but the thing worked pretty good. Dude, I come home from work, you're gonna see in the video, at, f at five o'clock and it was getting dark and it's getting dark here early in Jersey, so I didn't have much time. <clears throat> Probably in 20 minutes time, I got the thing pretty much done, the cylinder, the, the cases and whatnot. Uh, the hubs get a little discolored, the knuckles on the fork and whatnot you're gonna see. So, um, uh, and I probably used like three quarters of the bag. So, it wasn't bad at all, it was pretty cool. And, Pretty pumped on how it turned out, and the swing arm as well. Swing arm, the calipers. I tried to hit them up a little bit. The triple clamps, uh, radiator, the little tanks at the bottom and the top. The fins, it didn't do really well on, but I'm okay with that. Like whatever, you know, it still looks good. The bike's gonna look pretty sharp when it's uh, ready to sell. So some new plastic and stuff for it. But pretty pumped on this. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave you a link at the bottom to this site too. I think it was like I found it on Amazon for like 16 bucks. But this is my um, older brother Jacks. He was willing to let me borrow it and try it out. He was pretty pumped on how, how it makes up things clean up as well. Um, so check out this video as, as far as just cleaning up your bike. Any questions, comments, feel free to comment at the bottom. And uh, like I said, I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. So thank you guys. Okay, here we are. We have my 2018 250 XCW with uh, over 340 some hours. I think it's got like 350. <laughs> I've been joking to my buddies the hour meter stops working after 350 so it is over 350 so because the hour meter don't work anymore anyway that'll be getting replaced but I'm getting ready to sell um put a new piston in it got the front end all done some plastics um but the motor over 350 hours it's dirty looking um so I borrowed my brother Jack's um soda blaster he calls it gun just take some baking soda and you blast the motor the surface with baking soda and it cleans it up i've seen uh, my nephew's bike and some other bikes i'm like oh my god it's like a new motorcycle so this is before camera does no justice because it's i think it's pretty dirty looking don't look too bad on camera but this is before Look at it. the hubs, and then we'll see what it looks like after. All right, so here she is. I had to bring her inside. We ran out of daylight. <laughs> Dark outside, but um, I'm pretty pumped, dude. She uh turned out pretty good. Betsy's nice and clean. Definitely a lot cleaner than it was when it started. So here's the motor. So it's just baking soda with a siphon hose with a gun on the other end. Um. Swing arm didn't come out as good as I thought, but I know that if you take like a, um, a green, uh, not emery cloth, but a green Brillo pad, some WD, that'll get it good. But the shock body, man, that thing looks like brand new compared to what it used to. So the radiators, definitely they were stained with gravel and mud, different stuff from 350 miles of 350 hours. Definitely got to wash her off again with the pressure washer for sure, but. Hub turned out pretty good. Um, the little knuckles at the bottom of the uh, 
fork tubes, pretty good. So I'm pretty pumped. So there you go. Seven dollar bag of baking soda, and I barely used a whole bag, just about all of it. And uh, she's pretty clean. So now I'm gonna pressure wash her off and continue with my build and building it, build it back together to get her ready to sell. But she looks looks gonna look much better. Looks much better already. So there she is. Let's get a look at the other side. Lights, lights not as good over here, but the cylinder looks definitely brand new again. So pumped on that radiator. I hate the four clamp, the um, triple clamps, caliper. Calipers always get so dingy because we're getting hot and everything, as well as the motor, obviously. But uh, they don't get as hot as when, when I use them. The brake brake calipers get pretty hot because I'm brake hound. But there you go. So 